Welcome to Dad and Doctor's video, Suggestion 867, Too Many Inline Citations. Caution, this suggestion is for advanced users. Suggestion 867 is caused by a JETCOM download, an uncleaned merge leaving multiple citations, and a lack of using named inline citations for multiple facts based on the same source. Here is the suggestion report for Albert Benson. It lists only one suggestion, 867, too many inline citations. The info column shows the number 102. That is the number of inline citations used. Here is the public view of Albert Benson's profile. As you can see, it has 26 inline citations for his name alone. Click on Edit. Copy the edit page onto a Word, Notepad, WordPad, or other editor document and work from there, not on the profile itself. This makes it easier to organize and work through the multiple sources. It also leaves the original intact in case you need to refer to it later. Begin with the Sources section. Highlight the titles of each source for easier identification. Group similar sources together as shown in this example, and take your time to make sure they give the same information. The JEDCOM import of family trees can be deleted as they are not a source. It is apparent that there are identical sources cited several times for the same fact. In reality, there are 11 sources for this profile, four U.S. Census records, three Iowa Census records, a World War I draft record, a Social Security Death Index, find a grave with a substantiating photo of headstone, and a family tree reference. Most of these will only be needed once and will not need to be named. However, the Social Security Death Index will be used three times in name, birth, and death, and needs to be named. The World War I draft record will be used twice in name and birth. Let's work with the 1900 U.S. Census. S396, S397, and S878 all refer to that census. I have found a free site source and I'm replacing it for the paid ancestry site. Otherwise, I would delete two of the sources. Trim the remaining source of its redundant information and create an inline citation by replacing from star source to the closed span tag with an open ref tag. Then at the end of the source add a closed ref tag. However, for the free site source, Create inline citation reference tags and paste the source between them. Do this for all duplicated sources. When the sources section is finished, it should look like this with one inline citation per reference. Go to the biography section and as scary as this sounds, delete all the sources beside each fact. Remember, if something goes wrong, you still have the original profile online. Now, let's organize the biography section. The subheadings are children, burial, name, birth, death, user ID, date changed, and residence. First, delete the user ID and date changed sections as they are irrelevant. Next, pay close attention to the residence section as there are duplicate dates listed. Delete the duplicates. From the Sources section, copy the 1900 U.S. Census reference and paste it next to its fact in the Biography section, then delete it from the Sources section. Do this for all the sources, moving them to their appropriate place in the Biography section. The last source, the Family History, should be moved below the Sources section to the subheading See Also. Your page should look like this, with a clean biography, properly sourced with one or two references. There should be nothing visible in the Sources section 
except the References tag. Copy your finished document and paste it into the edit screen of Albert's profile over the original text. Click the Preview button and take your time reviewing the work. Make sure each fact has the correct inline citation. Make sure there are no duplicated citations within a subheading. Confirm that there are no sources listed in the Sources section that have been used in the biography. When you're sure everything looks right, go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree members and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggestion number and name, and explain my changes. Save your work. Return to the Suggestions report, and on the far right, click the Status button. On the next screen, the Suggestions status report, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Next, of the five statuses listed, select one, in this case, corrected. Leave a comment from the comment hints, or make one of your own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen, the Status History, shows that your changes have been recorded. And you're done.